Have you seen this before? This is Taurus's Coolify 2S and they call it a neck air conditioner. I've been seeing these all over social media and so I'm kind of excited to try them out. Welcome back to another Jeff Reviews for you. And as you saw in this video, we are looking at the Coolify 2S, a legit neck air conditioner. Doesn't that sound cool? Anyway, enough talk. Let's get right into this review to see if it's truly a neck air conditioner. I was really impressed with the packaging when I was unboxing it. Look at this. We actually have a hard case holding our neck fan. Now I have a few neck fans and neck heaters and such, and none of them have come with a case. That's pretty cool. I should say the Coolify 2S retails for $229. In my opinion, that's a lot of money. This thing is supposed to be an air conditioner, a fan, and a heater. Let's continue with the unboxing and opening up this product. All right, here we are, opened up. You know what, to be honest with you, it looks kind of like the other neck fans that I've used before. I hope this one's a lot more special. You know what, this is also interesting. In the middle, I didn't recognize this, but actually this looks like it has a charging cord and maybe a few sets of directions. That's kind of cool placement. Here's our first look at this Coolify 2S. Wow. I always worry that these things are gonna fit my big neck, but this actually has a pretty good, um, it looks almost like a spring or something back here that lets it open up pretty wide, so that's convenient. Looks like I have some intake things or fans here on the side. Definitely some fan looking things on the top up here. Uh, what looks like the power button on one side and a mode button on the other side. I'm gonna read through these directions just so I can figure out what this thing does. So on both sides, we have heating and cooling plates that go along most of the side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peel off these little stickers that are on there just so we can read veal the the plates themselves and then i want to test that 30 degree cooling within one second i've read through the directions and the coolify 2s tells me as soon as i hit this power button it's supposed to default to level c1 which is cooling and it tells me i'm supposed to drop down 30 degrees in one second right now this cooling plate is right around 74 73 degrees so if i see this in the 40s in one second i'll be impressed all right let's do this my temperature gun is ready and on. All right, so it's been longer than a second. It's, well, it's going down pretty fast, but it did not cool within one second. Come on now. I wonder if the 30 degree drop was if I had it on a higher setting. So I think C1 is like the lowest of the cooling. However, look at that. It's been about 25 seconds and we have dropped about 10 degrees Fahrenheit. That actually is quite a nice reduction. I'm gonna let this keep going to see how long it'll, or how far it'll drop. Just moving around. The lowest I've seen is about 62 degrees Fahrenheit, which in my opinion is pretty cold. All right, it's a sunny, hot day out. We are trying the Coolify 2S and I wanted to talk a little bit about that 30 degree instant drop in temperature. Although I wasn't able to see it on that thermometer or how I was scanning it, you know what? I'm 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit and this thing right now is in the 60s. That to me is a 30 degree drop in temperature because this is ice cold. I got a lot of work out here to do today. So I'm hoping this thing will last with me. And I'm also hoping that this keeps me cool. I'll check back in in a little while. I was testing the heat function to see how warm it was. And I was just gonna give you the information, but I wanted to show you something. So if I have this here on what would be the right side, I go from 90, I mean, I, right now I'm at 101 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's turn it to the other side and we can see a completely different type of temperature. Like I, I get to 90 or so, right there is at 92, but I definitely don't get that 101. So it's interesting that they might not be the same temperature on each side. As far as the different temperatures, level one or H1, I get between 88 and 89 degrees Fahrenheit. Level two, I got from 90 to 101 degrees Fahrenheit. And level three, I got all the way up to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. So tell me, what are your thoughts of the Coolify 2S? Something you would use? Do you have a Coolify, maybe a previous version? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. I wanted to show you this button on the other side. I'm gonna turn it back to where the power button is because that's also where the digital screen is, but I am gonna be pushing this button to show you how it cycles through the different settings. I tell you what, I am not a fan of the material this is made out of. I don't like how shiny it is. I kind of wish it was more of a matte black, plus it really does show a lot of fingerprints and such. Anyway, let's go through showing you the different settings. I turn it on. Of course, you can see that I'm on C1, cooling one. I have my finger over here on the button on the other side. I click that one time and it puts me into the fan mode. So not the cooling, but the fan mode. If I wanna click that again one time real fast, it brings me back cooling. Now, 
If I want to enter the heating mode, I'm actually going to use that same button, but hold it down for about two seconds. Ready? Watch. And see how it just dinged? Now it's in heat level one, or it's saying hi. If I want to change that to different levels, of course, I just hit this power button to go H1, 2, or 3, and then, of course, that turns it off. I want to go back to cooling, hold the other side down again for two more seconds. As I've been messing with this, I noticed it was really heavy, so let's get a weight of this, and it looks like it's right around 14.4 ounces, which, in my opinion, is kind of heavy, especially if you're going to be putting that on your neck. Right below our power button down here underneath it is the USB-C charging port, and of course, this device actually came with its very own USB-C charging cord. Wow, there are 27 different warnings with this, and no, I'm not going to read these all to you, but it does say don't let kids under the age of 10 use this. Don't use this if you have medical conditions. Don't use this if you're pregnant. Don't use cleaners on this. Man, there's a lot. So if you do end up getting this, make sure you read this extensive list of warnings. I've been wearing this for the past hour or so, and to be honest with you, it's really cool. I have it on C1 with the fan blowing. I thought, man, this is really cool around my neck. Definitely the coolest neck air conditioning fan I've ever used. That being said, I've also known it seems quite loud blowing the fan in my ear. And so I know the directions told me that this was 31 decibels, but let's see really how much it is. I'm gonna pause for about four seconds so you can get the room sound. And then of course we're gonna turn on the Coolify 2S. You see the room sound was right there in the 20s, a little about 27 or so. Let's turn this on level C1. Right there around 47, 48 decibels. Let's turn that up to C2. About 54 or so decibels. Let's turn that up to C3. Fifty-eight, fifty-nine decibels. And that's just the constant noise that you're hearing in your ears. I've been working outside for about an hour and let me tell you some of my observations. First, I don't really tell a difference in the coolness factor, switching it from C1, C2 to C3. All I think that happens is, well, the fan speed goes up. I think it's just as cool. I also am starting to sweat. I know that sounds gross, so it's really actually sticky around the Coolify. Although it's still cold right here and I do definitely feel cooling sensation, it's also sticky and sweaty. Now it's time to go through the app. I'm not going to show you the whole setup process, but you do go to your app store and look for Taurus Coolify. I'll come back when I'm all set up. So I'm excited that the app actually lets you go almost like as a guest and it found the Coolify 2S and here it is. All right, so we automatically have an updated firmware needed. Let's do that now. As we are updating our firmware, I'm also charging this. You can just see how the screen there changes as the charge goes up. This is funny, right? They said you can actually use this while it's charging, which I do like the convenience of that, except this cord is only like three feet long. So you have to be really close to your charging port. When you have a big brush like that, you know the day has gone well. We got a lot of the trees cleaned up, but boy, is it hot. I will say that I've been using this Coolify for the last couple hours and has kept my neck cool. And even with this fan blowing up, I don't notice the loud noise outside as much as I did when I was inside. I will say I do like it on C1 versus any of the other speeds. But you know what? Two hours in, a little over two hours, and this thing's still running. The firmware is updated, so let's open up our app. Let me see if I can focus this for you a little better. It looks like we can see our charging level and then I can also control the air conditioning fan and heat mode. It looks like I can maybe even set timer. I guess I have to be in one. And then of course there's an on off button. Let's just see what happens if I swipe this across. All right, well the Coolify just clicked on real fast. Let's see what happens when I click the power button. It shuts it off. All right, cool. Can I control that? That's neat. I do like that I can control the different features of the Coolify. I've been looking at this app for a little while and I can't find any way to turn the fan off while on the air conditioning mode. So I guess that's just something you're stuck with unless they come out with an updated firmware that allows you to do that. There are other features to the app, like you can rename it, except I'm not signed in, so I can't do that. There's also some instructions and their firmware update options. You know what? I had a lot of extra work to finish out here. Actually, I was working on my Eco Blade, getting this thing mapped, and the Coolify went out. It's just about the four-hour mark, but now this is just a paperweight. 
In this video, we are looking at the Coolify 2S. It's their newest neck air conditioner. So what did I think of it? First things first, let's talk about that price point. Anywhere between $230 and $299, man, that is a lot of money. It better hold up to its claims. As we were using the Coolify, we found out that it was a cooling neck air conditioner, a fan, and a neck heater. Wow, three in one. That is pretty cool. Let's talk about that heating. Over six and a half hours this thing lasted. I thought, wow, that is super impressive. Not to mention, you can actually leave this plugged in and charge while you use it. That means you can almost have endless time as long as your cord reaches the outlet. But six and a half hours on the battery, I've never had a heating device last that long. If we look about that cooling feature, I was blown away, so to speak, how cold it actually got. No, the plates themselves did not drop 30 degrees Fahrenheit, but I did feel a lot cooler on my neck. And yes, I could tell that it was in the 60s when I was wearing this, even outside. I tell you what, I got two different experiences when I was wearing this, either inside or outside. Inside, I noticed, man, that fan blowing on my ears was really, really loud, where I didn't really tell that outside. So it was definitely more comfortable outside, where inside, you know what I did? actually do this, take it off, turn it upside down. I don't know if that's allowed, but the fan's now blowing down and not at my ears. And I was like, a two hour charge time? Nothing charges in two hours. In my book, this thing checks all the boxes. I just really wish that price was lower. Anyway, that was my full review of the Coolify 2S. If this is something that interests you, I will leave a link down in the description. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day. I do want to check that fan speed. We are on low right now. So we are running about maybe two, 2.2 miles per hour is our wind speed. Let's turn that up to level two. You can see an increase right away. Right about three miles an hour would be our wind speed. And to go to level, oops, I turned it off. Three. Wow. So just a little over four miles an hour would be the wind speed from the Coolify 2S. I really do appreciate that you sat around for my entire review of the Coolify 2S. You know what, in this review, I actually talked about other neck fans or heaters that I have reviewed, and you know what's funny? They both have the name Freedom. Anyway, I'm gonna link the cooling one right here and the heating one right over here, and I would love it if you would click on either of those links. And when you do, by the magic of the internet, I'm gonna join you right here or right there. So go ahead, click one, they're safe, I promise.